Uh, this is... Where were we? So this is if we took this way down. Okay, we unlocked something over here. Okay, good. We don't need to start from here. I was so worried that we needed to do something because this was previously locked. So there are some stuff in here that we can do... Ooh, we can do that would change stuff. Hmm. That's the bad end. So this represents a bad end. Okay, this represents endings. Is this the true ending? Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing good. Making still making lots of calls. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, I had this haircut probably about a week ago. So, man, that was good. All right, let's let's carry on. <clears throat> oh, my Amazon order is nearly here. Might have to leave pretty soon. He came out of the door and into a long, straight hallway so this is just after clearing the uh first class cabin rooms we should be headed towards the casino now huh? he paused for a moment and turned around to look behind him hmm? seven was bent over apparently doing something to the door huh? Junpei had spoken more or less to himself, but apparently Seven had heard anyway. The larger man stood up and turned to Junpei. Oh, those plates in there. Ah, oh. こうしておけ。いつでもこの部屋に戻ってこれるだろう。戻ってきてどうするんだい。Don't forget, the ninth man's bracelet is still there. I think. Snake was a reasonable one. Seven thought about it for a moment before you answered. Not with that piano. The piano was completely messed up. Piano? This guy's weird. Everyone's weird. Without waiting for an answer, Seven started off down the hallway. Snake shrugged, sighed, and quietly followed Seven. Nirusu. Mm -hmm. At the lie, Junpei thought to himself. That piano is supremely out of tune, though. There it is. Hey Mo, you know something? <laughs> I have this weird sudden urge to eat dates. I don't know why. <laughs> I might buy some later. I hope I hope there's stock for it later on. Jupe frowned, took one last look at the door, and then walked away toward his companions. Yeah, I know, delicious, right? Especially dried ones. Something! Hello, how are you doing? After some time in the hallway, they emerged into a larger, more open area. Central. Oh no, not yet. The central staircase is all the way down. A large metal grate like the door of a jail divided it in half. They shook it for a while, but as they had expected, it did not move. エレベーターか見えるぞ。オレはエレベーターか。オッケー、そう。エレベーターが2 Unfortunately, however, it was locked and refused to open. Hmm? Jumpy took a moment to examine the left side of the room. Ah, so the casino will give us entrance to this, okay. Mm -hmm. 
向こうの鉄格子と違ってこっちつまり開閉が可能ってことか Ripe dates or which one?、Uh, I've never ever had ripe dates. I've only had like dried dates before, to be honest. I've never had ripe dates before. I would say I've never had fresh dates before. Would that be a better way to, would it be a better way to put it? Venus. Oh, same. Do we even eat like fresh dates? In the center of the door was a small keyhole. Next to the hit keyhole, a small symbol had been carved into the metal. Venus. He wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Nick, naturally, was somewhat more sure. Ah, so it was a good thing. He was a good thing. He was a good thing. He was a good thing. 同じようなマークがあっただろ。太陽系の星を示すマークが。ああ、そういえば。OK。太陽。OK。We never open this, right? どうせ。それに、地球もあったの。だから、それも。Did we ever get the sun key? From the previous run? I don't think we did. Mess is an actor, Tayo Keno Kinsen no Mark. The Kotoka. Maybe on my trip down to the uh, to the uh, supermarket later on, I might pick up some dates. Just hmm. are fresh dates very different from dried dates, uh, Mo? That all. I mean, I would assume that you've had both before, right? Hmm. Not seven more. While they had been discussing the symbols, Junpei now realized Seven had slipped away. His absence now felt. Snake and Junpei turned to look for their missing companion.、Oh, oh. oh. Seven had left him to head down the hallway, extending to the right of the stairs. Junpei grabbed Snake to lead him in the right direction, and they both headed off after Seven. Now, this. Snake is supposed to be like supremely, had, supposed to have supremely good hearing though. There was, a, there was a stage when they start to get sweeter and tastier, the next stage when it gets riper and more delicious. Ooh, Mo. I want some. <laughs> Before long, the three of them stood in front of a door. It was a French door. <laughs> Jumpy tested the door and realized that unlike so many ones that they had encountered, it was unlocked. Multi taste stuff. <laughs> Almost as though he was afraid it would suddenly lock itself, Jumpy threw the door open. Whoop! Stepped inside. Ooh. That is some old school slot machine there. Nine? It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Mm -hmm. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind made him turn around. Snake was shaking the door they had just come through. Okay. As Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration and then kicked the door for good measure. There was no reason to panic, however. That's a weird thing. What the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Also, some there is dried it and some where it's pressured to juice it up. Ooh, so it gets coated with it and mix it on. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Man, I hope. Ever, ever, Aqua? 
Equal. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> okay. Where are we? And hope you enjoy your time here as well. Say hi. <laughs> Chat. Chat is not unfriendly. This piques my interest the most. What's this? There's something on top of the fireplace. Hey, hey. Hello. Oh. Six of spades. Okay. It's shedding quite a bit of light. Okay. Oh. Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Oh. Oh. Hey, chips, I think. There are a whole bunch of coins stuffed into this Valor bag. <laughs> we bite so much. Come on, Derek. <laughs> we are friendly. Chad is friendly, I think. Chad doesn't really bite that much. <laughs> Look at all these coins. <clears throat> Wrong voice. Uh, perhaps these coins will allow us to convince the machines to move. Okay. Wrong voices. This is. Sheet of canvas hung over the fireplace. Does this even change? Weird looking thing floating in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Another card. Okay, five for speeds. There's nothing on the table anymore. Okay. Standard one of the mill chairs. Okay. Uh square poker table. Head here. Ooh, more cards. Looks like a card. A playing card. Okay. Just making sure. Oh, um, more playing cards. We are one card away from a straight flush. Hogan's oh, glasses. Hmm, doesn't look like there's anything else back there though. Okay, counter's pretty well polished. What is that? Can I click on anything else? Wait, chandeliers hang. Chandelier like on the ceiling. That hat makes you look like you've got a candle yours. No, take that back, Yash. Yubi, why do you talk to yourself so frequently? <laughs> what is that? Oh, wait. My... Hmm. Oh, something on the table. Okay. Uh oh. This was one of my favorite puzzles. Ooh, okay. I, I, I like it quite a bit right now. Hmm, the time for me to do something is pretty soon. Suddenly, Seven began to speak. I don't like Baccarat. Oh, sorry. Junpei shook his head. He barely even heard of the game. I hate the nine thing. It's very luck based, I think. Bunker to player, Dotching a cat's cow at her game. Jason, Bunker to player, no show highwa. Do ya take him or no cat's to Scavarino, you mother monaco, Trump no card. Hey, Dave. Sorry, I'm late. Can I restart the stream one moment? <laughs> Hi, how are you doing, man? So no tepida no go case no shimosh toketa. Hmm, alright. I am doing good actually. I am currently waiting for an Amazon delivery though. I have some groceries coming in at at like uh probably in about ten minutes or so. I I'm looking at the map right now. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's all it's all related to nine. Okay, Kantani Oh yeah, grocery deliveries. But I need to head down to the grocery store later anyway. I've got stuff to do. 
Okay. 28 minutes and he didn't have anything to say. God. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Alright, no, you enjoy yourself. Uh, I think exclamation look is a commando. <laughs> he hadn't been asked for it, but Seven's explanation rushed through, rushed though it had been, was helpful. <laughs> Damn it, Mo. <laughs> so remember that show and tell you. Oh yeah, I owe I owe Phoenix a show and tell, right? Hey, uh, Phoenix, uh, you wanna wait for the groceries to arrive? <laughs> I. Oh God. <laughs> Nope, nothing in there that's interesting. Oh, wait, I can show and tell something. I know. Uh, Alright. Hold on for a minute. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if you guys can see this. Ta da! I have tidied up my shelf. Uh, It's a bit hard to see, so I'll just move it up a little. Now there are a whole more bunch of stuff in there. Oh god. There you go. <laughs> I can show you myself. Uh it's not the best, but uh I've added a lot more stuff to it. I've got my CDs down there. I've got my Tintin and Asterix collection over here. Finally put it up. Got my little Japanese Mahjong set here. Uh, and I've got books like mad over here. So this whole section is new. You guys can't really see it right now. But this, this is the complete collection of Hercule Poirot's mysteries. It's all from, uh, it's all Agatha Christie though. There you go. There you go. Complete collection. More books, man. Uh, I've got Dune here, which I'm reading. The Dune, as usual. <laughs> As usual. And uh got some of my fantasy books over here that I've not been reading. I should be reading a little bit more regularly. Got some of my game there. Oh! Poirot, yeah, nice. I've also got this. Uh this is something that This is something that uh I who was it again that was Italian man? Sinet would have been interested in. This is it. No, no, it's just a. It's a recipe book. It's an Italian recipe book, man. Look at that. Authentic, like this is great stuff. Like it has like recipes and everything. It is beautiful. So I I, I need to make more food from there. But the stuff they're looking for is pretty expensive. Yep. Pretty much that's it. <laughs> Pretty much that's it though. Ah, what else am I missing? I've got a lot more CDs in here. So I've got like game CDs and I've got game CDs and I've got uh What's this again? Oh um AKB48 CDs and stuff like that. So a whole bunch of it over here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like a haunted book telling you how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Oh, camera. Oh dear, you camera. Whoop. Yep. There we go. Oh, um, guys. By the Agatha Christie hype. You are right. <laughs> by the way. This. Um, it's open for the redemption right now, I think. <laughs> yeah, if you look at your, if you guys look at your channel points, I think it's available for redemption. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Still saving up points. Oh dear lord. <laughs> oh dear lord. What are you doing? All right. 
And there you have it. Ta-da! Authentic butt shot. No, come on. It's... it's... <sighs> Chat. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I need to re I need to go reread Poirot quite a fair bit though. I really have no time for that. But I've been reading Dune on my phone. So uh yeah, Dune Dune is cool. <laughs> Someone saved up I mean you've got different levels here. You've got the uh lighter ones here. These are 250k points I think. And this is 500 k This is one million. I don't know if I want to put the two times two times one in there. <laughs> I might not be able to continue the stream after two times. Um, the twice as hot one. Yeah. All right. Anyway, back to Baccarat. Hey, Ben Furious, dude. Pan with the red. Hi, everybody. Snowy over here. We are playing Baccarat. No, we are just looking at triple nine, nine nine nine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Much love, man. Much love. Woo. <laughs> right. Hello, DG Shockwave. How are you doing, man? Feeling more confident, if only slightly. Junpei approached the back of that table. No. Oh. Hey, dude. Thanks a lot for the follow. Really appreciate it. Oh. Uh, eight. I can see the playing card beneath, behind the thick glass case. It's the eight of spades. Uh, okay. Let's leave this first. Let's not solve the puzzle. Four chests running the square tape, okay? Oh, check out the stained glass. Now our thing's been going here. Uh, I've just pretty much started not too long ago. And uh, we have completed... Nine, nine, we've com completed one of the... I have a... Okay, wait. Before anything happens, I have a delivery coming in. And if I need to get up and run out, my delivery is coming up and I need to go and open the door for them. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, we've completed one storyline of triple nine. So as you can see, oh god. Let's show me. Yeah, so we are looking for the true ending right now. So we are playing through alternate paths. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Check out the stained glass. How beautiful. What? Mm, huh? Stained glass is uh, cut pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the Basic structure. Yeah, I'm trying to hear whether my phone is ringing. Hey, Cyber Dystopia. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Enjoy your time here. <laughs> just hanging. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, just, just hanging. <laughs> there you go. Yes, thank you, something for shouting uh, Pantry Wickers out. I, I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> uh, basic structure. Okay. What? Okay. That's square table. Oh, that's square table. Looks like a mahjong table. <gasps> mahjong. <clears throat> uh, do you play mahjong? Seven years. Uh, oh, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember a couple of hands. Some of the rules, so I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once you have vacated this vessel, I should like to play a game with you. Wow, the typical trope, a blind Mahjong player. You could feel literally every single tile uh, if you know what you're doing and you're experienced enough. Oh, nice. I'll be right back. Woo! Ah!
Oh, holy crap. Whoa, everyone's here. Hi. Hey, no problems. Pan, gonna look. Chair is Hi, Flamers. Hi, how you doing, man? Oh my god, I better scroll. <laughs> Majo in the game of all people. Hi, CDG Shockwave. <sighs> hey, Cyrus. W O J Z or Wads. <laughs> Hi, Wads. Jackoon. Yeah. Okay, uh, how you doing? The little boss lady. Hope you're doing good. I'm a bit out of breath. Watch is fine. Go. Cool. I'm a bit out of breath because I had to go and move stuff in. Uh, I ordered like drinks and stuff. So usually when I call for delivery, I like order drinks. And uh, and I was looking forward to the delivery because my rice is in. Oh, I actually ran out of rice like last week, and I and I never really went to refill it. And now and because I couldn't find. Japanese rice. So it's Hokkaido. Okay, yeah, rice! Look at that solid piece. <laughs> no, I was out of breath moving cartons in. I, I ordered some drinks and uh, one very large carton of 24 bottles of green tea. <laughs> so. Singapore is very easy to find Japanese rice, I think. Yes, Derek. Problem is, problem is in this current climate, it uh, it's a little bit hard to get. It's a little bit hard to get authentic Japanese rice. So that's why. Chair was pie. What? <laughs> Man loves his rice. You bet. Well, it, it's a good, it's a good source of carbs. And uh, what? Hi, what do you say? Chair was telling us all your dirty secrets, Snowy. Included one time with a fishing thread, wasabi, and sponge. Hey, how do you find out about that? Shh. Time for Katsu Don. <laughs> oh god, Katsu. Uh, anything to do with deep frying makes me think twice because I have to clean the kitchen after that. <laughs> Good chair. <laughs> All right, back to the story. Hey, uh, Majo. Maja. Uh, can you uh, play? So long as you tell me which tile I'm, I am eliminating. Yes. What? Eliminating. Uh, you don't eliminate tiles. In Mahjong. What the hell? Okay. Does it make sense at all? Uh, yes, I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. 
To be honest, expect problems with imported goods, especially food, still next week. Yes, Pi. I, I, I truly, I absolutely understand that. Yes, yeah, some Vin, I cannot seem to escape Marjorie. Why? <laughs> Flamers, you are right. Basically, he doesn't know how to play it. That's ridiculous. There's no capturing. What the hell? Wait. However, oh wait. Ho however, I must ask you to remove the red towels when we play. Okay, uh, in in the case that anyone doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, don't worry, it's not going to be a mahjong session. But for certain sets of Japanese mahjong, which I conveniently happen to have a set over here, there are red tiles. Let me just give you a quick look at it. Urgh. There are red tiles available. Oh, I'm not going to make this fall out. Do you see that in the middle over there? That's a red towel. The uh, five of circles is a red towel. Uh, is the is the red towel? Basically, it's used in certain. Well, it's used as uh, a bonus towel. If you have one in your hand when you win, it's worth. How do I put it this way? It's worth an extra point. That's the best way to put it, I guess. There you go. <laughs> We, looks like sushi, not drugs. <laughs> Kayan, the M incident. Okay. So yeah, you can't feel the tiles, but the rest of the tiles they're all carved into the um, the other characters are carved into the tiles. So anyone trained enough, experienced enough, can feel what each tile is. They don't have to see it. The only time that a blind person needs help is that you need to call out what you're discarding. Hmm. Oh god! I dripped some water! Oh no. Well, looks like today is a uh, accident prone day, I guess. Not so worried, to be honest. Do they all... Do they all work still? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> if Mahjong is behind Snowy, does that mean he's controlled by it, Pi? Five pails have an extra point. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Red, red tiles, damn it. Anyway, Sirius, that anime is worth a watch by anybody. Washizu Mahjong, indeed. <laughs> if anyone's confused about what Sirius and I are talking about, uh, it's this anime called Akagi. If you guys like psychological stuff, Akagi is great. Akagi, one outs, um, and uh, what's that one? The one about the guy that always loses. Kaiji, correct, serious. Akagi and Kaiji are by the same author. One outs is inspired by that author. Yeah, the one with the huge noses. <laughs> oh, come on. The man likes his noses. Alright, well, however I was asking him, okay? <clears throat> so, okay, that, that joke is over, I guess. Uh, Nani? Main body of a slot machine. There's a coin slot on the upper left. It says one. Bro, they used to pick up money. It's locked tight. I can't get it open, okay. Mm, well, usually the way these things work is that if the wheels match, a whole bunch of coins come out. Exchanging those coins for prizes is the best part, though. Prize, eh? One Outs is great. Yeah, Liar Game is, yeah, uh, Liar Game is fantastic. I watched the drama version. I didn't, I didn't read the manga. I read, I read drama. Uh, I watched the drama. Drama is great, man. The theme song from the oh, guys. I don't know if you guys know about this. Might not have mentioned it before. I have actually thought of using the Liar Game theme song as uh, a song on the channel. Like I am absolutely in love with it. I, I would play it now. <laughs> But uh, I might get caught out by YouTube. <laughs> Liar Game is my favorite manga. Ooh, nice. Okay. I wonder what might happen if we were to match all the wheels. I imagine the prize would be the tools that would lead to our escape. Alright, let's. Oh, hang on. Okay, nope. So, same thing. Okay, it's locked tight. Okay. Anything different? 
They all look the same. Okay, what's this? Okay, that can't be open. <laughs> Damn it, this isn't exactly working out the way I expected. It's locked, isn't it? Is that a keyhole? If there is, I can't find it. It's right there, dude. Well, there must be some some way to unlock it. Let's look around a little more, shall we? Oh, that's the... Really? What is this? There's not a shut tight. Okay. It won't open. Uh, okay, we've got this last to go. <clears throat> what is this? Lock? It says lock. It says nine. Yeah, it looks like that cover's hiding something. If this is the cover, then maybe it opens up. Probably does. <clears throat> so, if we are going by Baccarat rules, we need an 8 in here. Uh, seems the cord is, is attached to the panel. And attached very well, it seems. Don't mind. What sort of card is this? It's a playing card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. <clears throat> okay. So I have a good idea what we need to do. Uh, we're going to do the slot machine first, though. All right, let's put a coin from the bag in here. <clears throat> uh, what happened? Uh, what happened? I heard an odd noise. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh. Looks like I can't get stuck. Oh dear. <laughs> it's like Winnie the Pooh. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Ready? Spin. What? There must be a way to slow this down, right? Oh, it's... It's predetermined. <laughs> yes, 777! And I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Junpei. It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you will. Oh, sorry guys. Uh
all right guys sorry about that i had to take that phone call uh yeah a bit of an issue some stuff uh, i hope it doesn't happen i hope nothing else happens what is going on i've been looking at chat and be like pineapples huh? Pi pi pineapples guys okay <laughs> Open it. Ooh. Oh, more cards. Uh, what is it? Is there something in there? Pineapples on pizza. Um, uh, I'm okay with that. Eh? Look, you can do anything on pizza if you want to. It's your choice. <laughs> Why not pineapples? <laughs> Playing card. And this. Oh, a key to Venus symbol on it. Excellent, Junpei. Now we will be able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Oh, okay, wrong voice. <laughs> Anything? Yeah, almost. Correct. Come on, Junpei, hurry up. And he's off. That was a playing card and a Venus key. Better put a key in my pocket for later. As for the card, whee! Okay, um, two speeds. Wait, oh, they're all, they're all speeds, right? I turned all of them around oh, there you go uh what about this fine slot oh nothing else to play okay so i believe the key is to, i need to know what the hell i can't do that hmm okay i think that's all we need so we need to come here we need to play the baccarat. We need to play baccarat, and then we need to <clears throat> probably win this. Uh, <clears throat> hey, seven. Are we really supposed to play baccarat? It's a baccarat table. What the hell would we do? Hmm. Nah, stop worrying about it. It's real simple. What's up? What's the opponent's hand? You actually ate grilled locusts once. They were not bad. Um, I have to pass on that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass on that. Well, there's an eight in the glass case. All right, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get? To get uh, what do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of indentations with white lines around them, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. The you dirty pineapple juice. I. <laughs> I don't know what Chad is doing right now. Help. The O's mean we gotta put down three cards, so. Place three cards here and defeat the opponent's eight. Okay, that's what I've gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Something tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I better make sure I've got the rules straight. 
Uh, three empty indentations. I gotta pick a card and play it. Figure if I put them in the right spot, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give this a try. Um, five, six, seven is a, not a nine, though. That's an eight. So we need a nine. So two, three, what? Two, three, four. There you go. <laughs> Alright, if I just put down these three cards. Alright, open for me. <laughs> Great. You did it, Jim. Hey. Rampo! Hi, Rampo! How you doing, man? <laughs> Chad is doing exactly what it needs to. I know something. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Okay. Alright, let's take this card. Okay. You know, spades. You got to put down stuck to the table. Okay. That's all. Aww. Were there any other combinations? Two, three, four. No, there are no other combinations. Yeah. There we go. This one needs a nine. It's the card slot. Give it a shot. Put an eight in there. Oh, and then you go. Hey, all right, it opened up. It seems we have another device to contend with. Yes. There are three slots in this one. Uh, let's see. Three slots of cards, and there's a nine right below them. So that probably means we're gonna make nine with the three cards we put in the slots, right? Uh, right. Just like what we did over that back right table. Right. Let's give it a shot. Really? That's. Oh god. That's not a nine. Is that a nine? But that's not. Five, six, seven, eight, and eleven plus eight. But yeah, that's the that's the uh, that's the digital route. I'm doing good, Rampo. <laughs> I just need to head out and uh, grab some groceries after the stream. But pretty good. How about you? Oh, you're doing awesome. <laughs> Instinct always tells me to ask someone how they do. I'm terrible. What happens now? Is that... Yes, I did hear something coming from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. Yay! Uh, let's go. Oh. Stop creaking. Hey, man. Yeah. Uh, Aqua, that's... That is a fun puzzle. That's a pretty fun puzzle. Uh, Junpei and his companions ran out of the casino and into a large open room. The other next what up? <laughs> um, Triple Nine is up and we are doing alternate timelines. Oh wait, there we go. We are up to here. And then we need to fast forward here, I think. So we've got a bad end over here. We need to know what's, what's up with this. Okay, a room in fact they had once been in, uh, been in once before. There was little to surprise them there. They already knew what the next step had to What's be. That? The iron gate still stood in place, locked tight, blocking the stairway, and right in the center of it. There you go. Here, the key. Wasting no time, he pulled it out and shoved it into the keyhole. He turned it. With the distinctive sound of metal on metal, he felt the lock click open. Okay. Junpei grabbed the handle on the left side and Seven took the handle on the right. On Junpei's signal, they both pushed and the gate creaked open. Yep, that is right. Hey, Sinatslav, how you doing, man? Hey! Uh huh. Oh, yeah, 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 
Okay. Hmm. At Seven's words, they leapt onto the stairs and jogged quickly down them. Jogged. In no time at all, they found themselves on Sea Deck. Sea Deck. Okay. This is. We're not there yet. Okay. Blooded. When he reached the water, he called back up the snake and seven. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Just came home, it was my friend's birthday, and we went out to eat a kebab so hard out here. Ooh, kebab! Happy birthday to your friend. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> The surface of the water below them was flat, like a mirror. Okay. Yeah, this is the part where I am completely, like, I am like 80% convinced that they're not on an ocean. If it was truly flooded by water from an ocean, it would be moving. It would be still. It says it was flat, like a mirror. I don't think they are even on on the water. I don't think they're on water at all. I seriously think that it's like on land somewhere. That's my guess, that's my guess. Don't tell me if I'm right or not, I'm just guessing. They began searching around and taking stock of what was on sea deck. え、上の<笑><笑> In before you find out you're in a pool like in Titanic. <laughs> there was space on the door. Seven tossed Junpei's hair in what he likely thought to be a friendly manner. Junpei feared his neck might break. Even though it was clear, Seven had kept his strength in check. <laughs> Thankfully, Snake interrupted. After Junpei's observation, he'd gone over to examine the card reader. Hmm? Okay, that's okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Hermes. Not out of mass. <clears throat> so then she beats you to stuff until you die and you go to heaven. <laughs> Seven shook Junpei's head even more vigorously, and the younger man began to feel as though his brain was being jostled about the inside of his skull. Fantastic way of getting a concussion. <laughs> Junpei's stomach began churning uncomfortably. Oh god, Pai. <laughs> yeah, something, uh, recently something, uh, became a mod here. Thanks a lot to him. We love concussions! Woohoo! Um, no. Every time someone hosts the channel, I get a concussion. <laughs> I, I cannot help but get a concussion. That might not have been the best thing to say. Never mind. Oh god. Hey, oh! <laughs> That's a follow. Thank you, Walt, for the follow, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Enjoy your time here. That's a follow. Follow is fine. Hosting is a whole different ballgame. Alright. How about that hallway to the left? Oh, sorry. Sit there. Hmm? Oh, this is the uh, one where we were searching for Snake when he went missing in the other timeline. 
Hey, there were a great many doors lining both sides of the hallway. They seemed to stretch on forever, and all three men suddenly felt very small. Yeah, so the other story was that we got, we came down, we saw nobody, and then when we got to the, um, we got to the hospital room, and then everyone was there, because people, they, like, this group was, like, busy doing stuff. Okay. The right of the stairs and the hallway stretched out, reaching deep into the bowels of the ship. Kids? Okay. After a few moments of moving briskly down the hallway, they emerged into an area roughly the same size and shape as the one at the top of the stairs. On the left side of the room were four French doors. Junpei nodded and grabbed the one closest to him. He gave it a small tug and felt it move. Okay, so the other group should be in here. Hey, Dave, random snackage? Alright, how's Body Muke? How you doing, man? Give me one moment, let me get a snack. <laughs> we had. We had this yesterday. I'll grab something else. Alrighty, <laughs> the ASMR is not included. I, I don't really have a good ASMR mic. Alrighty, we'll do this now. Boop. What is this? Uh, how, what does it read? Hitokuchi. Hitokuchi. Kuchikuchiku. Uh, basically, it's a brown rice cereal biscuit, apparently. And uh, I could eat it with milk, but I could also eat it just like that. So let's take a look. They don't know what this tastes like, but it's brown rice. So you gotta be happy for me. Oh, it's by Asahi. Oh, look, a beer brand. There it goes. I've, I've not opened this before. Oh, damn it. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Sinet. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Holy smokes! Oh man, look at that. Now it looks really plain, but what I smell? Cinnamon? White chocolate? A bit of vanilla as well. Woo! It's really small, look at that. Ta da Hmm. There's orange in there? What does it have? Ingredients. Wheat flour. Chocolate coating. What? Edible fats and oils, sugar, whole milk powder, other. Other. Okay. Shortening sugar, conflicts, white chocolate chip, orange peel processed products rye flakes whole egg wheat puff brown rice flour polydextrose coconut salt cinnamon powder slash eggshell um eggshell egg calcium emulsifier derived from soybean alcohol alcohol what ferric pyrophosphate flavor antioxidant sweetener which is aspartame Acidulant. What the hell is this? I don't know, it smells pretty good, man. What? <laughs> More air, yeah, it's all air. <laughs> Eggshell, I don't know. Why is it? Yeah. Sounds like 3 kg on the hips before eating. Mmm. Hey, cookie. No. 
usually if it's made in Japan, I'm quite comfortable with it. Did someone ask for ASML earlier on? Don't know if we can do it. I don't even, I don't even know whether the mic is suitable for that. Should we try it? <laughs> Something no. All right, let's stop it. Hmm. <laughs> Dave, my man, this is pretty good. Mm -mm. Do I have any pokey sticks? Do I have any pokey sticks? Um. No. I ran out of them. All right. Let's put it to one side. There we go. That was great stuff, man. Now I need more water. Oh, man. Did, did, you, did you know that there are like tens if not hundreds of pokey variants in japan it's insane <laughs> let's pretend he didn't eat air eggs just like oh sinet by the way something free for you no it's a free show and tell but um i think you missed this earlier on you might have missed this earlier on when i was showing uh, uh, my new arrangement for my uh for my for my uh for my bookcase Check it out, man. It's apparently a cookbook by... This place called Trattoria Zaza. It's uh, in Florence, apparently. Firenze, that's Firenze, right? Firenze? Oh God. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, just about that. Firenze. Firenze is Florence. Everyone knows Firenze is Florence. Because we've all played Assassin's Creed 2 or watched it. Man. They've got good recipes in here. Check it out. They've got like Pate di Fagato Bondi. They've got Pepperoni Saporiti. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. <clears throat> oh god, this is long. Minestrone, um, minestrone con il pesto e gli spaghetti spezzettati. <laughs> <laughs> the accent just comes up. How the hell do I pronounce this? Macaron, macaron chetti, I fung up. You know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna mess around with that. I, I'm. Nope. I'm not gonna have. <laughs> I'm not gonna have angry Italians. But Italian food is pretty damn good. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna butcher it. I am. Like, I'm pretty particular about pronunciations and I don't want to butcher stuff. <laughs> Speaking of which, though, uh, I hope one day I want to do, like on Mondays, on, on a cooking stream, I want to do one of the most basic yet most difficult recipes out there. Italian is kind of easy to read. Well, I mean, it's not 100%, right? You've got, the, you've got an argument all the time about bruschetta and bruschetta. More pasta is right. Don't know if you guys heard of this before. Don't know if you guys have heard of this before. There is a specific recipe called. Oh, I'm not gonna butcher this. Cacio e pepe. Not carbonara. Cacio e pepe. Carbonara is surprisingly easy compared to cacio e pepe. So cacio e pepe, if you guys don't know what it is, sit in sloth probably knows. Cacio e pepe is basically. It's literally two ingredients. Pepper and cheese. Mm. It is so good. All right, let's let's go through the door before I get hungry. Through it, I found another unlocked door. He threw it open. Oh man, Cal Wellington, yeah. Cacio e, pe cacio e pepe is really easy to make. Now the problem with cacio e pepe is literally like you have to make sure that the cheese. 
and the pasta water gets emulsified properly, otherwise you get lumpy messes, which is, yeah, it's a bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. That's the one thing, you have to get that part proper, and that's difficult. No. Oh, okay, we're in here. Yep, down to practice. Pepe. Not, not, not that Pepe. He simply stood, unable to speak. Seven eyes. Seven's eyes opened wide and his mouth gaped. After a few long moments, Seven at last managed to speak. <laughs> Pepper? No oh god. Cookie. Every time anyone spells Pepper that way, I get reminded of Pepper Pig. <sighs> a massive room stretched out in front of them. More a cavern than a room. Hey, no worries, Dave. You go take care of what you need to do, man. I will see you around. <laughs> take care, dude. Uh, its vastness was oppressive, and it bore down on Seven and Junpei. It was not empty, however. The entire room was filled with lines upon lines of bed. They were simple things, little more than pipe and thin mattresses. A bit, uh, okay. ここは病室かなこの刺激臭は消毒液の匂いだね多分そうなんだろうな広間の中央に薬品やら医療器具の置かれた棚がある。I <laughs> literally just said bits. <laughs> I saw that a little bit late. Okay. いやそれよりも奥の壁にあるあの4枚の扉。うん。Okay, three of them were emblazoned with large single-digit numbers made with thick red paint. Okay. <laughs> that was your intention, Cookie Seeker? Okay. Numbering door. By the way, Peppa Pig has a lot of like little inside jokes that as a child, no one would notice, but as an adult, you'd be like, wait a minute. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hmm. <clears throat> <笑>そうだな。よ、レムスフェルデウェイトゥザベッツトゥワードバックオブザルーム。オッケー、そうです。ウェイディスカバーダディ Reds are out of commission, right? Upon reaching them, they proceeded. They proceed to investigate each door in turn, but to no avail. Okay. If you like mollusks, you could make spaghetti con le cose. Uh, good. Mollusks. What's what's cose? What's cose? Sorry, I saw that.簡単に開いたりしたら隣ゲームが成立しなくなってしまう。レッドで認証しない限り、ナンバリングドアは。ナイス。ちょっと待て。だいぶ、だいぶ、レッドの表示板のところ。うん。サインが出てね。サイン。
the ice. I've got more than water. Hey, how is Bart UK? Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. Enjoy the emotes. <laughs> Enjoy the emotes. More than just water. <laughs> yes, dango. Dango, 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 dango. Dai Kazoku. <laughs> oh no, don't cry. Jess. Whee, it's up. Arizona peach tea. Did you know that? Wait, let me see if it's in here. Uh, no. I was reading something about Arizona peach tea and a pet. Oh, shake well. I was reading something about Arizona peach tea and they said that they added a little bit of pear juice to almost every drink for, for some reason. Apparently the guy just said it tasted well. Hmm. Let's go on. Junpei and the others put their hands on the panel, but nothing happened. Mm, nice. Hmm. Uh, as he soon discovered, it wasn't only the red on door 8 that seemed to be malfunctioning. Alright, I forgot about this though. I forgot my multivitamins. vitamins. I keep forgetting to take them. Stay healthy, guys. ゼロのやろ。こんなところで手を抜き合って。そんな。ここまで用意周到に準備してきたゼロが。こんな大事なところでミスを犯したっていうのか。<笑><笑> Oh, he's vegan for Mob Psycho. Interesting. No problems, Onyx. No problems, the Onyx, the other Nyx. I'm sorry. <clears throat> hmm. While Junpei and Seven Top, Snake busied himself with examining the red. After a time, he lowered his hand and spoke. Hmm. Junpei obliged and bent over to look at the underside of the device. Ah, Don't see it. You're making a bunch of other characters? Ooh, interesting. Could it be the ninth guy? And no, it doesn't make sense. They saw his body. Hmm. Just then. Ah! They heard the sound of a door opening. That's the rest of the team. The three of them turned and saw. Everyone. Akane! Jun, you mean? No, oh, no, Junpei thought it's Murasaki. Murasaki! <laughs> she stopped short, surprised to see them, and was very nearly bowled over by the rest of her companions who were coming through the door behind her. Hmm. Junpei and Seven were, for the moment, at a loss for words. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
After a moment of silence and surprise, everyone suddenly began to talk. Okay, this is what we've seen before, right? Oh no, not yet. Change his information. They talked about the rooms they'd been through and how they'd end up in the same place. Of course, none of it was very useful information, but that hardly mattered. They were happy to simply see one another again. Although the level of cheer varied greatly from person to person, each one of them was wearing some manner of a smile. Almost as though they had already forgotten about the death of the ninth man. Oh, that's bad. No, thought Junpei. Perhaps that wasn't it. Perhaps thoughts of his death were what drove them to smile at one another. Not in a morbid or hateful way, no. The ninth man had died. But they were still alive and there was something to be happy with. I've seen this before, right? I can't skip this, okay. A sort of simple, uncomplicated joy, Junpei thought. The joy of being alive. Still alive. <laughs> I am not going to sing the wrong song again. He felt very sorry for the ninth man, but more than anything, Junpei was just happy to be alive. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, with that, Junpei finished his own explanation. Oh yeah, we're going to do this. あっちの直線通路の方はどうだろう。どこか先に進めそうなところがあるかもしれない。おお、this would Snake die every time? <laughs> Confusion seemed to be the consensus. No one, not even Snake, appeared ready to offer an answer until Seven unexpectedly spoke up. Uh, the not Titanic, but the gigantic, I guess. Namai wa tabun giganto. Giganto. This is. Why does it feel like I've done this before? Wait, he's not the only one. Giganto. Seven nodded to Lotus and began to speak. Giganto, do you know? ニュージーセーキ諸島に建造されたタイタニック号の姉妹船でな。正式名称はギガンティック号という。タイタニック号には外観も内装もそっくりな3隻の姉妹船があった。ギガント号はそのうちの1隻ってわけだ。当初はタ
So that was how they all passed out. And then when they woke up, they were all on D deck. And then uh, they were forced out of D deck because the deck started to flood. And so they raised up the stairs and now they were on C deck and stuff. So that's basically what the start of the game was like. <laughs> Let her they don't know if they're on a ship. That is true. Okay, um, there was a scene at the very start of the game whereby one of the potholes burst open and water started to flood in. Uh, of course, I'm still very suspicious whether it, are they really on a ship or not, so I don't know about that. You can't see anything. Like, every single window is, like, bordered up with metal and stuff, plated up and stuff. So I don't know. They couldn't. Yeah! Yo, I know, right, Sinet? Seawater is extremely salty, but I'm gonna assume that for the sake of everything, if Zero planned all this properly, he would have probably salted the water appropriately. Can't be similar to this one. あれは<笑> Technically speaking, my second time because this is my second playthrough, but yeah. First of the nine games for me. Hey, Yashiro! I already know them. I don't know anything, dude. Don't spoil it. I've only, got, I've only gotten one ending, correct? Just let it play out auto for a while. <laughs> Seven looked around desperately, doing anything to avoid meeting Lotus's piercing stare. You know what they say? The second time is always more in depth than the first one. He scratched his head for a moment, then gave up. Finally, he opened his mouth. Lotus sighed and shook her head. Okay, so we know about this this time around. Then almost as if to save Seven from further embarrassment. A bell began to ring from far away. Oh my god, please don't stop. Oh. It's raining outside. <sighs> Random messages coming in. You pick out each chime carefully. Hmm? Midnight. Wait, is this it? Damn it! Okay. 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 ひとつじゃねえか。ああ。よ、どうしたどうす。ちょ、ちょっと待ってよ。ここにある部屋を全部探せって言うの。はい、レディ。大病室に来る前にお前らが何部屋か調べたんだろう。うーん。一人一部
残りは48部屋なの Dotas did not seem excited by the prospect. Seven fidgeted nervously before responding. Sure. <laughs> Seeing you enjoy this really makes me want you to play AI the Somnium Files. Oh my god. We'll see what uh we'll see what the Steam Summer Sale springs up for me. For us. <laughs> I have to wait for this. I am just a poor, poor, poor affiliate streamer. <laughs> I I I I want to wait for the stream summer uh stream the Steam summer sale first before I make any decisions. Then, in case if you're wondering, exchange rates are very bad for me, so buying on GOG or Epic Games, pretty bad. Junpei was chosen to search the rooms on the starboard side, moving from fore to aft. No, no, no. area to Junjo wa likai shita ka? Mm-hmm. Oh, bachiri desu. They also determined when they would return to report their findings. The next time the clock sounded the time. When it did, they would meet back in a large central room full of beds. <laughs> I know don't care about it. A lot of people don't like Epic Games, the EGS. To be fair, to be fair, uh, we've gotten... Civilization 6, Civ 6, and we've got GTA 5, right, recently? <laughs> you got time? Now that doctors extended my lifespan with at least 20 more years. Yeah, bye! <laughs> I call it a major success. <laughs> so more puns and spoilers. GTA 5 and Watch Dogs. Yep, they are giving up grade A games. Yep. So I assume those bracelets can't be opened. Yeah, uh, they've been tugging and trying. They couldn't open any of the bracelets. It only opens on two, th um, on two things. A, on death. And B, when you leave the ship. Pretty much that's it. Well, I mean, theoretically speaking, it, um, we are getting all these games because um, Fortnite, game, Fortnite players are buying it for us. <laughs> so if a respawn happens to build a game store, maybe Apex Legends players can buy games for us too. Or oh, ten cent. Hmm. Ma, so that the search for it is not found, then there is a better solution. Okay. That's what I thought. So, let's go. Okay. 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 The details decided they left to begin searching. Out into the hallway they went each to the rooms they'd been designed. However... Okay... From far away, Junpei heard a bell ring. Thank god. Okay, so I can skip this right now, right? There we go. By the way, I want to get... <clears throat> Don't, I've said this a few times before, but for the benefit of those who I've not told this, I've played... Fortnite. I've played Fortnite, I've played Apex Legends, and the moment I beat them once, I never played them again. Like, the interest completely died away. I don't understand why. I've just had one. Oh, don't do that, Clover. I did one. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Snake is gone. Okay, oh. Oh. I can't skip this. This new stuff. They took off up the stairs at a run. Before they knew it, they were there. So was Lotus. She was leaning against the wall, examining her nails. Oh, I can't skip this. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, guys, excuse me. Now, this is important. On the first playthrough, I listened to all of them. Does it affect my path if I listen or not listen to them? Just wondering. You can't remember, oh god. 
Uh, sounds like the beginning. <laughs> it shouldn't, right? Yeah. Let's try to refuse. Let's see what she says. Yeah. Mm. Let's go, Jun. Okay. Junpei tucked Jun's arm and led her quickly back toward the stairs. どうせしょうもない提案だろ。そんなことよりも今はニルスを探す方が先だ。さて、次はどこを当たってみるか。Hey, Vod Squad for life. How you doing, man? Together they ran down the stairs. Can I skip this? I can't. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Uh, walk away without him saying anything? Okay. Well, if you talk to him, you don't have any information about it. Junpei-kun? No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a super, like, like, I'm not going to talk to anybody this time around. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there you have, like, zero stream lag. <laughs> nice. Junpei took June and left the large hospital room. Bora? Bora Shiki? Yeah. Where do we go next? Uh, the casino? Hi. You the piece and hit it for B deck. There you go. Uh, hallway for the large rooms. It's Ace. That Ace handle it. Oh, wait, what? Everywhere again? Oh, wait, what? Everywhere again? No. Okay. Finish us. There you go. Hey. Uh. Oh. So we chose. Is this the decision time? Oh God. Let's try. She was right. It wasn't pleasant, but she was right. There wasn't any way that the numbers worked out. If one group was four, the other group would always have a digital root that didn't match at all. When Seven spoke, his voice was strained. <laughs> yes, Vod Squad, she's alive. It's a new run. Oh, skip. So... To get to the other side, I have to insist that I wanted to go through the three door. Okay. So A sacrifices himself. Okay, he passes out because he he, he jabbed himself with Sopore or something. <sighs> this playthrough is a lot faster this time around. Okay, so we... What? Oh crap, um... Why are they new? <laughs> Do I have to go through all the routes to unlock the best ending like Klanat? I... Think so? Why did he inject himself? Oh, uh, he made... Oh, according to Ace, he did that to force them to leave him behind. That's what he said. Uh, oh. Interesting idea. Whoa, wait. What if he... No, it doesn't make sense at all, man. Oh, it doesn't make sense. I don't know which door I went in the last time. Oh, damn it. Uh, I think I went in through door seven, Ken. All right, we'll do door eight. Okay. There you go. Ah, so. Eight. 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 E
I said door seven. Wait, what? Wait, ho hold up. Did I go through door eight or door seven the last time around? I'm confused. Door 7 because I said so. Oh, okay, so 8 is the one that we have not gone through, right? Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself, but finally began to explain. <coughs> okay. Yep. Okay, we've done this before. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, we are forced to split from June over here. Okay, let me see. Okay, June felt as uh Junpei felt as if just as Murasaki did. He wanted to be at the side, although da, 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 he had to his feelings, okay? In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June would have had to be separated. He looked at June, he was scared to lose her, but he swallowed steel his resolve and did his best to smile. Okay. I think it is weird because Snowy didn't go through I wasn't even given an option to go through Door 3, I think. Don't make June cry. Okay. Okay, this is the same. So... Yeah, I have to go with... Yashiro... Ah, okay, Ken. I believe it's like that since you clicked three last time and and it forced you to make another decision after that. Maybe the menu has to correct door hard. Uh, no, I, I went through seven the last time round. Three is the one where you force more than one person to stay behind. We'll, we'll try, uh, and I... Uh... I don't think that was possible. We'll, we'll, we'll try and see if it happens. Let's see. So this is completely new now. For a long moment, it stood in front of the door. Lotus laid her head against her chest and turned to Junpei and Clover. Junpei, are you okay? This is going to be new. Hiraita. And they were always stretched out before them. Yes. <laughs> this type of game makes my head burst. I... Alright, the moment they did, the bracelets beat. Okay. Detonators in the bracelets had been activated. Jupi stepped forward to follow them. But as he was about to step over the threshold, he stopped. <laughs> he looked to his left, not his right now, toward door 7. June stood there, the mirror image of Junpei. She turned and looked toward him. The eyes met. They nodded. The farewell took almost 1.5 seconds. Then someone took hold of Junpei's arms and hauled him body through the door. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Jun Murasaki. Okay. His bracelet gave a cold electronic beep. Lotus snapped at him and he ran to the day. <laughs> I like visual novels but not escape types. Mm, 300 IQ please. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, there's always something for everyone. Jupiter and Clover followed her as fast as they could. Here we go. <laughs> the puzzles are pretty easy though. With a shaking hand, she wiped a few beads of sweat from her forehead. Clover, however, was calm. Aloof, perhaps. That's new. She muttered to herself without emotion and began to walk down the hallway, leaving behind a confused Junpei and Lotus. Lotus watched the girls with seating back with a mix of frustration and curiosity. 
<laughs> ah yes, Derek must love Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Sarcasm seemed a little more biting than was, perhaps necessary, but she sighed and started after the younger girl. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Just Monica. After taking a moment to catch his breath, Junpei followed. Man, I, I I tell you, if I if I actually do if if I did like horror streams and stuff, if this was like a horror channel. That would be my theme song. <laughs> the hallway made a number of turns before at last coming to a dead end. For a few minutes, they stood in front of the door, examining it. Laboratory. Above the door was a plate with the word laboratory engraved on it. Laboratory. <laughs> Kayan, I am bad with horror. I am... Look... Look, um, I'm very bad with horror. If you want to know how bad it is, go and look at the clip that I was playing, um, Tarkov. <laughs> Some Finn knows what I'm saying about, what I'm talking about, yeah. Oh my god. It's, it's in one of the clips. It's one of the earlier clips uh, of the channel. Huh? <laughs> Junpei suspected her politeness was motivated by something other than respect. <laughs> Junpei muttered to himself and pushed open the iron door. His first steps were inside were tentative and careful, but as he examined the room, it became clear that there was no imminent danger. Lotus followed him in, and Clover brought up the rear. The room they found themselves in was divided into two separate areas by a curved wall. A thick glass window built into that wall made it possible to see into the other side of the division. Okay. Junpei walked to the window and looked through. He wasn't sure what else to say. In the center of the room, of a room shaped like a quarter circle, a mannequin lay on what looked like a medical exam table. <laughs> Junpei jumped a little. He hadn't noticed Lotus come up next to him. <laughs> Thanks, something. <laughs> Tarkov is like horror to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Was it my own shadow or was it a rock? I think it was a rock. Please don't sit up. 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 Please do she was gripping her arms, the knuckles on her hands white. <laughs> she was still standing near the entrance of the room. Her face had an appearance of, a ca of calm, but it was drawn and somehow sad. There was something almost pitiful about her. Joby walked over to her and as kindly as he could, spoke. Clover looked away. お前のことを心配してるんだよ。さっきからずっと黙ったままだし。いけないの？いけなくはないが。I <laughs> mean, to be honest, it's been a long time since I've played any FPS. I've not played shooters in a really long time. だったらほっといてくれない？そういうわけにはいかないだろう。
この先協力していかなきゃいけないわけだし。Clover bit her lip and was silent for a moment. Oh, okay. A cry took Junpei to be a surprise and he stumbled backwards a few steps. Alarmed. Okay. <laughs> Both, right, Kian. Junpei had nothing to say. Lotus, jolted from her mannequin nightmares by Clover's voice, turned towards them. Clover's eyes slid to Lotus, then back to Junpei. Okay. Before Junpei or Lotus could say anything, Clover had begun to walk quickly away. He might as well have excuse me, talking to a wall for all the notice she took off his cries. And the people on the ship have been chosen randomly, or is there a logic we had a choice, uh, Sinet? My suspicion is that they're all somehow connected somewhere, somehow. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Not even slowing down, she made for a doorway cut in the wall in front of her. We don't even know anything about that. Without even slowing down, she passed through the doorway. <laughs> and without warning, an iron gate fell from the ceiling like a pot. pot. potculus? Particulus. Isn't it a particulus? Ceiling clover in. <laughs> Lotus is chosen for visual purposes? Oh. You know it. Uh oh. Clover grabbed hold of the iron bars and shook them as hard as she could. Yeah, pot. Oh, pot killers. Yeah, that's what I thought. That spelling seemed weird. But. Pot killers? Singular? I thought it was. Yeah, pot killers. I thought it was that spelling. Jumpy grabbed the bars and pulled. In a moment, Lotus joined him. The three of them pulled as hard as they could, but. Nope. No, 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 no. You're gonna meet. Dude, turn your time. <laughs> what do you guys have for lunch? It's the new VR device of the Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sinit. <laughs> no fight. Junpei nodded. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Green asparagus and rice with a mustard sauce. Ooh, that sounds nice. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Ready? Ethanol. What, really? Mm, ethanol. I wonder if this is for antisepsis. Oh, it says anhydrous ethanol. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, anhydrous? Is that different from the regular ethanol? Come on, that's common knowledge. Anhydrous ethanol is a powerful cleaner. It can even erase marks left by a permanent marker. Okay. Can I open the rest? Whole bunch of steel lockers. Nine of the, the nine on the right all have little red lights on them. Red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give these babies a try. Yep, just as I thought. Lock tight, all nine of them. And hydras for cleaning, that's one for all funded lab. Is it that expensive, uh, watch? I wonder if there's anything important in there. Hmm. Wait, these lockers are a little larger than the ones on top. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. And uh, no, nothing. Okay. Okay. Cardboard boxes. Some papers and stuff in them. It is expensive as la la la. What? Honey? What's in the boxes? <laughs> they look quite full. 
As far as I can tell, it's a bunch. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's a bunch of notes about some kind of experiments. But it's all really technical and stuff. I don't really get it. Okay, computer. This is the computer. The power isn't on. Well, there is a power button. This is a waste of time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oh, yeah, you're right. No power cable. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer though. It's got a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, but that's it. Haven't you heard of AIOs? Just taking the power cable in isn't going to do anything. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Mouse, keyboard, monitor. Power cable. Can I? No. Can I click the power cable? Nope. It's pretty expensive and it's definitely way more expensive than 70% would be while not being much better for clean. Oh, interesting watch. I forgot that this channel is family friendly. Yes, it, uh, it is supposed to be family friendly. Yeah, we try, we try to keep it that way as much as possible. Okay. Oh, the hands on the clock have stopped moving. The clock will stop. Time goes on. No time to screw around. We need to figure out a way out of here. Yeah, I try to avoid F bombs as much as possible. What's this? There are two levers here. Do you think they can activate something? Well, why don't you move one? Alright, I'll give it a try. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything happened. Like anything's happened, sorry. This is a keyhole. Looks like a keyhole for the activation key. Okay. <clears throat> this is a really old type of keyboard. I think this thing... I think this thing... <clears throat> supposed to power that machine in the other room. No, Sinan! <laughs> friends! Oh, it doesn't appear to be doing that. <clears throat> I wonder how we're supposed to turn it on. Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how we could use any of these. Hmm, well, I can see for sure that I do know how to use at least one of these things. Which one? The one on top. I think it's the power cable. The power cable, huh? I'll take that. Yoink! Hey, three pin plug! Okay, okay. Okay, yep. That's a weird ass three pin. Uh, lock the doors. That. Don't know what kind of table is this, but it's all part of, but part of it, it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think somebody probably used it to make the table black. Oh, well, they only used the pen on one part of it. There's probably something underneath on the pen. Clover, do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a permanent marker. Jimpy, do you know how to erase ink from a permanent marker? Erase ink from a permanent marker? Alright, that's easy. Uh, for that. It's a rack! There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut the other stuff off the cables. Oh, it's okay, it got stripped. I can see the wires inside. Is this like an examining table? There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. I think this thing's a monitor for whatever experiment they were running here. There's a bunch of stuff on here, like resistance value and voltage. The power's off, so there's nothing on it right now. Wonder what this is. This thing here looks like a voltmeter. And this is the control for that? There's just so many di dials. Why don't you try turning one of them? Uh, nope, nothing. There's no power here, guys. I turned the dial a whole bunch, but even if I turn all the switches on, nothing happens. I wonder what they washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the sink. Okay, I uh, think that settles it. Jump A! Do something, please! Look at this. Clover, use this ethanol. You should be able to wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I gonna wipe it with? Oh well, your clothes, of course. Rude. <laughs> Please don't look at me like that, you're scaring me. Um, so... Wait, what? What? Oh, I did give it to her. Clover! Clover, can you use the cloth on the table? You, it was her? 
soak in ethanol and then use it to wash off all the stuff on the permanent marker, okay? That's okay, so long I so I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. <laughs> okay. Well she's got a cloth, but she seems to have be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get to work on that stuff on the table. Oh. Okay, suck the cloth in ethanol and Junpei! It's working, it's wiping the permanent ink off. Huh? There's some kind of weird drawing on all that permanent ink. What's the deal? Well, what's the deal with that drawing, Clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. Okay. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers in some kind of grid. Can't see it from here. Clover, you got a pen and a notebook, right? Could you write those numbers down and then hand them to me through the bars? Okay. Roger. Drain for water. Okay, nothing here. Yeah, Junpei. I wrote down all the numbers from the desk on here. I wrote numbers on here? Quite. Okay, cool. New material has been added to the file screen. Oh, jeez. I... Mm. There you go. The note Clover copied from the stand in the laboratory. It has four numbers written in nine separate cells. Nani? Well, nothing left to do, except plug in. Alright, monitor is before cable. So one end of this cable needs to be connected to a monitor. And the other end needs to plug in under the desk. Alright, let's slip, just uh, slip you in. Oh my. Huh? Well, shoot. I can't use this. What's wrong? This cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one of two prongs. That's right. Uh. Yeah? Hmm. Hey, Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh, oh, wrong voice. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. If she does, I have to kind of crouch down to take a look at the there. <laughs> Just break the ground one like a normal human. Yeah, I know, but if it's metal. The cables on the monitor has, uh, it's got two of those little metal things. What does that mean? That's it. Okay, can you unplug the cable and bring it over here? No, uh, okay, but... But, but I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can take it over to you. Damn it, that's no good then. Well, how about just the plug? What? The plug? Well, maybe more like a uh, connector? It's sort of a thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies into a plug with two metal thingies. <laughs> Still useless? Not useless, not useless at all. That's just what we need. This is what we were looking for. Okay, can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. Okay. All right, I'm plugged. I'll head to you over at the bars, okay? Sweet. Yeah, you go. Two prong, the two prong, two prong plug. <laughs> Adapter, yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's right, so have a look around. Okay. Alright. Pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go. And let's just plug this thing into the monitor. Alright, that ought to do it. Alright, let's turn the power on. Uh I don't think anything's gonna happen. Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. Jumpy push a button on the front of the monitor. Oh, oh yeah. With a soft hum, it turned on. That's a really slow boot, boot time. <laughs> Streams of letters that make no sense to Jumpy began to scroll across the screen. Huh? 
He had hoped it would turn on, but he hadn't expected this. AIO, all in one. みたいね。みたいねって不思議に思わないのか何がこいつにはマシンの本体が接続されてないんだぞ。うん、メイクDIR <笑> Clearly, this was a reasonable explanation to Lotus. Wireless display? ほんたいとは無線でつながってるのよ。ただそれだけのこと。っていうか、純平君、いつの時代の人間？妹さんにはなった、but。それって今は主流だったりするのか？少なくとも私の周りではね。Wait, what? とまたはね。え、パスの4文字とコロンか。どうやらパスワードを入力しないとダメみたいね。うん。またかよ。この部屋のどこかにヒントが隠されてるってことか。探してきてくれる。あ、分かった。うん、てお前は私は自力で何と
Even as she talked, her fingers never slowed or missed a key. Jupe couldn't help but feel a little awe. さっきの話まあやりすディスプレイの話。俺とよく考えてみると、やっぱり不思議よね。うん。ああ、えっと。なんて説明すればいいんだろう。例えば今、足し算を実行するプログラムを書くとするじゃないオッケー。で、1+1
どこか別の場所にある本体の方に格納されていて本当は何も忘れてなんかいないのかもしれない、うん、ただ脳というモニターに障害があるからうまく思い出せないだけで失語症や申しの人も同じ本当は喋れるのかもしれないただモニターの調子が悪いだけでねあとはそう総合失認症の人だってそうかもしれないし OK あちょちょっと待て<笑>ファッソーパグノーゼ総合失認症 You knew what a, a, a phaser was from watching medical dramas on TV, and blindside was easy enough to guess, but he never heard the word prosopagnosia before. I don't know. So, what's the name of the No. Jupiter shrugged and shook his head while Lotus spun around in the chair to look at him. I don't know what the name of the name is. I don't know what the name of the name is. I don't know what the name of the name is. I don't know what the name of the name is. あの人とこの人の顔を区別することもできない。Okay, really, really、bad, 当然、顔を覚えることもできない。だから、道でばったり知り合いに出会っても、その人が出会うことはできない。Agnosia means not knowing. あー。プロスポー ?Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's Greek. I'm gonna. I, I say, like, that literally is ancient Greek, right? Prosopos. Yep. Anything medical in nature usually is Greek. Anything. <laughs> Sorry, anything to do with science is usually Greek in nature. And this is the interesting part. Anything to do with law generally falls in Latin. It's because of where the, these schools of thought originated. Yep. The Romans were the ones responsible for a lot of law and stuff like that. That's why most of our laws are in like, you've got Latin terms for laws and Greek terms for anything scientific in nature. Okay. So that's why the human face is all like a ball. Hmm. So that's a little bit different. For example, サルヤマのサルを考えてみて。私たちにはどのサルも同じ顔をしているように見えるでしょ。別にのっぺらぼうに見えるわけじゃないけど、それでも一頭一頭区別することはできないはず。長年付き合っているシークイーンなら見分け
<laughs> After a few seconds, accept it disappeared to be replaced with nine squares arranged in a three by three square. Suddenly, Lotus stood up. <laughs> Sinet laughed. I'm in. Oh, you know it, famous. ほら he wasn't sure what he wasn't sure what to say to that. She suddenly had run her part. In fact, without Lotus, they probably would have run completely aground. Shai really shouldn't rely on other people so much, Junpei thought to himself. Well, <laughs> Junpei crossed his arms and stared at the puzzle shown on the screen. Ah, what is red becomes green. What is green becomes red. What? What? This fourth touch is your end. Oh. made a puzzle for you, now you solve it, <laughs> since you're the protagonist. Alright, I solved it! Did you hear nice just now? Yeah, I did. Sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Yeah, there you go. Look, Junpei! The light of the lockers are green! Then we must have unlocked it with the computer puzzle. We get! We got... Hey, what's in here? Keys! Keys? Keys? Okay. There's more than one key in here. This one is small and looks like it goes to some sort of machine. And this one has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol is just a keyhole in the door on the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key right now. Alright then, earth key. I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. <laughs> okay, activation key. There we go. Uh... Dot com. Okay, convenient. Okay, yep, yeah, the activation key. Okay. It was just at that moment that he heard a voice behind him. It was Clover. <laughs> Put a puzzle aside for the moment and walked over to Clover. What <laughs> さっきお兄ちゃんと一緒にゴの扉に入ったでしょ。その時何か気になること言ってなかった。うん。え?え?Why is she asking me this? Jumpy wondered. The more he thought about it, however, the more it made sense. Snake had been gone for a long time. Clover was quite attached to her brother. Of course, she would have been worried about him. えっと、そうだな。he thought back to when he'd gone through door 5, hoping he might remember something, even a small something, that would help her. However... Clover's words were barely audible. She nodded vaguely onto Junpei, and turned to walk away. Guys, give me a second. I really need to pee. I'll be back in a while.
Oh man. I thought of going to. I thought of heading to the toilet. Um, once we solve the puzzle. Hi, Vasi. I was I was about to head to the toilet when I thought of, I thought of heading to the toilet after I solved the puzzle, and things were going fine, and then Clover decided to talk to me, so like I can't stand it anymore. Okay. Sorry guys. ミルスは、えっと、その生まれつき。why would you ask us all a question, Junpei? That's super. Mm. That's, that's kind of rude, Junpei. Oh. Today I caught two streamers that ended the stream without actually ending it. Always good to ask, says Vasi. I hope I'm not the third. <laughs> oh dear. Bad car accident. Huh? Mm. He is blind, yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we didn't. His arm? Wait, wait. Wait, what about his arm? We don't know anything about his arm on the first, on the first ride. Oh. 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 もういい。もういい。So in the last run He blew up. But was that him? Because they didn't say anything about his arm. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Talking about her brother had clearly taken a great deal out of Clover. Junpei nodded. <laughs> Clover not only shook her head and walked uh only shook her head and walked off down the stairs. Wait, what arm is his bracelet on then? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a good question, Sinet. That's a very good question. Yeah, if it's on the first stasis, he could just take it off. Well, that is completely true. Hmm. Okay, we could activation key, right? This key, all right. Shape sure makes it seem like it goes into this machine. All right, I'm turning it on. Oh yeah. God, that reminds me of the old school um, EGA monitors and stuff. And it's full of letters! Okay. Showing some kind of warning? Power restored to experimental device. The emergency system will activate in the event of a normal subject behavior. Okay. It says power restored to the experimental device. Okay. Oh. Okay.
They still got these in some labs. Wait, still got what? These? Or... What? What? Watch, what are you, what are you talking about, watch? Hey, jump it, uh, jump it! This thing in here is on now! Yeah, that's cause we activated the power on this side. Monitors like that. Oh, right, right. EGA monitors and stuff. Yeah, I... I, I remember playing around with an Apple II, I think. Some kind of Mac. And uh, it had a green screen as well. Those were the times, man. And like VGA wasn't cool. As VGA was the way to go. <laughs> Super VGA. Uh, could you like play with it a little? Okay. Yeah, I'll turn this down here. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. This? Scribbles on the table, okay. This? No. That? No. The rack? There are some cables on top of the copper wire exposed. This? Monitor? There are a whole lot of cables under this table. Table? There's something sticking out of the mannequin, mannequin tape. Like, why is there something? What the hell are they doing in there? Huh? Why, is she, why is she all quiet now? The oldest thing I touched was a Pentium 4. Wow! 4 it. No, that's not even a 4.86, dude. <laughs> a Pentium 4 is like 5 generations beyond a 4.86. I remember playing around with an Apple II, I think. And then I had a 2.86, followed by a 4.86, and then a Pentium 1, I think. Then a Pentium 4. And then uh, I kind of lost track at that point in time because I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> they were doing experiments on humans. Probably. It's so old. Oh god. Damn, I just revealed my age. Oh man, now she looks sad. But oh, what is it? Oh god. Hmm? Uh. Mannequin? Okay. What is this? Oh, a drain. Okay. Maybe if we increase the voltage? Roger! Pentium Pro is Pentium 1. Oh? Pentium Pro? Maybe? Go do! Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage! M -m max voltage? Hey! Wait, Clover! Oh shit. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I think. Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. What the hell? Fire detector, fire detector. The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Money. Damn, the gate's still shut. Oh god. Close on this side. What are you doing, Jimmy? Okay, you need to save Clover now. Uh. Oh! Doors are open! Junpei, look at the light! That's green! The emergency system. The, 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 the emergency system has activated a disabled lock. Uh, a, a disabled lock. Now we can save Clover. Junpei! Come on, kid, jump! She's safe. <laughs> oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Time to close this door again, I think. But the gate. The gate. The gate still is, has smoke coming through it, right? <laughs> Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Of course I'm not alright! What the hell took you so long, you big chunk? <laughs> I was almost dead! Sorry, I was going as fast as I could. You two can do uh, you two can do this later. Right now we need to get the hell out of here. That fire is not gonna stay in that room forever. Bye. <laughs> we don't talk about that, yes, you know. Yeah. Pentium oh Pentium processor, that's what it means, flames. Junpei Clover and Lotus leapt out of the laboratory, slamming the door shut behind them. <laughs> No. 
なんとか出れたね<笑>えはあ All three collapsed against the wall, breathing heavily. <sighs> okay. Junpei's heart was pounding in his chest and his whole body felt weak. Sorry, guys, once again. He inhaled gulps of clear air, and with each one, he could feel his body begin to calm down. Hmm. Yes. Uh, let me see. All right, let's go. <laughs> Lotus breathing heavily. They nodded to each other and started off down the hallway. Before long, they found a new door. They found a few new doors, sorry. But all of them were locked. Hmm. Hmm. Oh? The final door sat in the corner of the hallway. Junpei grabbed the door handle and was about to pull it open when a voice cried out behind him. It was neither Clover nor Lotus, but he recognized it. There was no doubt the voice belonged to... <clears throat> let me guess. Murasaki! Junpei-kun! Huh? <laughs> he spun around. There at the other end of the hall, Junpei saw human figures running towards him. Of them. Murasaki. Sorry. Santa to seven more. They stopped short in front of Junpei and his companions, gasping for it. Sorry, I had some messages to reply to. <laughs> Human fingers, that's. <laughs> Before you could finish, Clover spoke. She was standing near the end of a hall, a small hallway that branched off to the right. The rest of them ran over to her, curious as to what she'd found. Oh, oh the, the map. Okay. Oh, that is true. So we went through these two doors, which eventually wait, which doors again? Somewhere up there, yeah. Oh, no, 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 nope. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 this way. So, this way, no, 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 uh, Earth key? Is that right? That unlocks another door in one of the other areas, I think. Oh, 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 Jumpy looked at the map of the ship's interior again. As he looked more closely, his surprise and excitement gave way to weariness. Yep, this is the weird door. Tony Kaku, Ikimashu. So done. 
As one, they all moved back toward the door Junpei had only a moment ago had been ready to open. Oh, okay. Put the map of the ship's interior off the wall. Off, off the wall. Put it in spot and follow the others. Okay, cool. So this... Okay, this should be identical, right? Uh... No, not... Ooh. I unlocked two things over here? Wait, what? So that's... Yeah, so that's room three. Holy crap, if we took room three... It's a completely different story? What the... It took hold of the door and spoke without looking back at the other five. Hirakuzo. In order to silent ascent. A deep breath sent a through open door. Back into the original room. They part through the doorway and into the room. Even without looking around, each one of them knew where they were. <laughs> All I hear is bad ending. Well, we're going back to get um Ace, right? Yeah. Party. They were just where the map had said they would be. Oh yeah. This is the exact same. I can't skip. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, we can probably fast forward this a little, right? I believe to this. I can just jump forward, right? I don't need to. I don't need to go through all this. So this is still locked. So I've not done something to lock, to unlock this. Hmm. This is all still locked. Wait, does it mean that I have an option here? Wait. Okay, I'm a bit confused about this. Uh Hmm Do I do something in here? It's still locked, you can't get access to that one. But that was the same for these, right? So you couldn't take the rifle revolver with you, right? Not in the previous round, no, Sinet. Yeah, you remembered that. That was in the cargo room with the co with the coffin, right? Could not take that yet, or did not take it yet. Does that mean that I take it in this route? But what would lead me to take it? Hmm. So hang on a second. Let me just save this first. Uh, file, no, menu, save. So I can just fast forward, right? Like, to this. Let me check. Mm, the red keys with no crosses over them can be done. But the thing is this, when I started today's stream, those those on those above wait what this is the this is new hmm no no, no it's fine Sinet. it's fine uh no it doesn't seem spoilery if i mean no it stood there for a few more minutes no one speaking with new sentence and ace followed him why is this new Oh, what? Oh, 
This is new. この水槽には出口が2箇所ついてる。Alternate <laughs> F4. I whoa. That was completely unexpected. So Okay, so that crossed out key. No, no, no. I, I, I alternate F4. I alternate F4. Okay, the reason was because I, ass I assumed that what they mentioned, like this was different. But I got keys apparently. Oh god. I need I need to read about this. Uh explanation about flow chart. You know what? I think does it say in the file? Flow chart explanation. There you go. <laughs> but did you try to ask nicely? Okay, that's just the controls. Uh, we can answer if you want. Um, maybe could someone try to explain that to me? Um, as long as it's not spoilery. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you got a bad ending because you didn't check the coffin and made sounds. I. Don't think I had the chance to check it. I, if I'm not mistaken, um, Junpei was alone in the room, and then um, we were looking around. Santa called out to us. We left the room. Then the coffin started knocking. So, don't look it up because it was spoilery. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. Spoilers. Okay. <laughs> not looking it up now. Yeah, I, I need to know what this means though, because I don't know whether should I be playing this again? Should I, like, do I need something to unlock this or what do I do? Because that's highly confusing to me right now. And what does this mean? Oh, it just says locked and unlocked. Hmm. Play the new routes to unlock them. You might as well keep on filling in the flow chart. So, take the gun, shoot the coffin, ask questions. You can get to the keys later. So, okay. So, I'm kind of like done for now, right? So, should I go back and pick room door number three? Or should I like go forward and pick a different door? What do you guys think? Go down further. Okay. Okay. Mm, I guess that's the way to go. So I'll just fast. So I should just fast forward. Like I should just start here, right? And then pick the door. This is a. S it makes more sense for a narrative. Okay, this path is like <laughs> hyper suspicious what the hell goes on here this branch is super suspicious man hmm well i guess we could do it tomorrow <laughs>